Hello Tag Media Network viewers, my name is Smurf Games etc and we have a Sony Vegas Pro 10 tutorial for you. I've had a few questions regarding like regarding regarding my uh my rendering settings and how I get my videos to fill the entire screen. Um so I'm just gonna let you into what I do. So we could just I'm just gonna show you how I like get my videos to fill the screen. Obviously this is already a rendered video but I've just put it into the uh Vegas just as an example. See I have a, my own way of doing it. I, I don't adjust the uh, frame size or whatever. I go to switches well I, I right click I right click the uh, video I go to switches and I click uncheck maintain aspect ratio. That means it will stretch the Vegas will automatically stretch the video uh, to fit the frame so there won't be any yucky black borders unless that's the effect you're wanting to and also get rid of uh, resample or disable that I'm not actually quite sure what that does it was just a tutorial I watched a very long time ago it does something like uh, it keeps the colors as they are or something like that um, with the, the with the audio you can do whatever you want with that if you want it quieter you just drag it down you know and that's it you just literally take away 3.8 decibels at that level or none um, that's basically all I do I do minimal minimal editing just to get this uh, sorted so that shows the video with no black lines that's how you want it so with rendering you can click there render as which I usually do and then it comes to here now you see my save type is Sony AVC now this is the codec or the format that you want there's other ones, I mean there's a lot of other ones. Uh, I don't use main concept, I, I don't know why. I, I did try once and it crashed my Vegas so I don't bother. I use Sony AVC. Now I have a template that I've made as MP4 HD. I've got other ones but I don't use them because this is my custom one. So if I go to custom now I'll show you all the settings. So we've got video format, AVC, that's what we want. And you want the, the frame size is uh, 1280 by 720, that's the one I use. If you want, if you want to go higher, than you can, but I use 720. You want your profile on baseline or high. It doesn't really do much. I have baseline. Um, entropy coding you want on CA VLC. Frame rate you want at that. You want it at 59.940000 because that keeps the video nice and smooth. You don't. You want to have no field order. You want to have a pixel aspect ratio of one zero 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 zero, and uh, okay, the bit rate BPS. Um, you can well, I recommend fifteen thousand. That gives you a slightly bigger file size, but better quality. You, uh, you can go down to I'd say go down to ten thousand, no lower than that. Ten thousand, ten million. Sorry, um, just simply for the fact that it that is just the optimal um, sort of. BPS for good quality YouTube videos. Now the audio, I don't do anything. I do, um, I put my sample rate as 48,000. That's better than CD quality, but you can't really tell because I don't have a decent microphone yet. Um, on that subject, actually, I'm thinking of getting an Audio Technica AT2020 uh, cardioid microphone with a pop filter, so I can do decent recordings and uh, it doesn't go. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, I don't know if that'll come out in the video, but yeah, uh, at the moment I'm just using a crappy turtle of each mic. So, system, you have to have it on MP4 file format. Don't use these. You want MP4 project. Now, you want to use video rendering quality best. Now, stereoscopic 3D mode, you're not going to put that on YouTube, so use project settings. That's all you want. And that is that. And then you can just save it and it'll render. Um, yeah, that's all, really. Um, yeah. Uh, if you're wondering how I get the, uh, you know, my SGE thing there, it's really simple. You go to insert video track, you get the picture, you drag it along so it's all along there, and it's just, and then you uh, click this here, event pan and crop, and then you just, you actually drag it. It's like the opposite, it's inverted, so you drag it out to make the video smaller as you can see in the preview screen and you drag it in oh god I flipped it <laughs> yeah and you see what I mean uh, how I'm doing that now it makes it sort of zoom in and zoom out so um, yeah just a small tutorial of what 
the the few things I do in uh, Vegas Pro 10. I'm not advanced, so um, if you do have any queries, I'll try my best, but I really, honestly, I'm no good at Vegas. I know a few things. Uh, I've watched a lot of tutorials to do uh, in the past, and they're, they're the main things I stick by. So, um, yeah, that's that. I hope this helps you uh, make videos or whatever you want to do with it, Vegas. Remember to like this video, favorite it, uh, comment on it if you have any problems, and uh, subscribe to myself at Smurf Games, etc. Uh, my the link to my channel will be in the comment section. The comment section, more information section below this video, and uh, remember to subscribe to Tag Media Network, which is uh, growing at a steady rate. I think it's surpassed 310 subscribers now at the time of making this video, which is excellent. I mean, I remember when it was at about 100. 57 when I became a director so yeah it's grown a lot since I've uh, joined hopefully um that will keep going so yeah uh thank you for watching this video and I'm out